Haley in our old stomping grounds, Joe, the Atlanta, Georgia area. Haley, you're on the Ken Coleman Show. Hi, Ken. Thanks for taking my call. You bet. What's up, Haley? So I'm currently full-time employed right now, um, and I have been working on a side hustle. That is definitely my dream job. Ooh. Um, and what is I that? Just to get, yeah, I just wanted to get your opinion on when I can transfer over. Um, I know people say, like, when your side job makes as much as your current job, but I've just been, like, working myself to the bone to try and get that up when I'm also working sometimes over 40 hours at this other job. Yeah, well, you know, maybe that equation is a little different for you. But I'm curious, before we dive into it, uh, what is the side hustle? That is the dream job. So I'm an artist, and I actually went to school to be an artist. um, And I've been doing illustrations and freelance work on the side for probably about three years now. Uh Um, And last year, I had some medical issues that had me to leave my career at the time. And I had about six months of recovery where I was working on um, being an artist and a freelancer. And I made about $15,000 in that six months. Um, But then I had a bunch of medical bills uh, to pay off. So I grabbed this full-time job to kind of throw it back. All right. Well, let's look at your financial situation. That will inform the rest of this. So what do you make right now in your full-time job? I take home probably about $35,000. So take home is $35K. Okay. Yes. Um, and the, that number you just gave me, the 15,000 that you made, is that the latest number? Is that like a yearly average or how long ago was that six months where you made 15,000? That was last year at the beginning of the year. I haven't um, done my calculations since I started the full-time job. I've been at it for about a year now. Um, and I have just been totally slacking on giving this side hustle job the attention it needs. So it oh, okay. definitely hasn't rev- like gotten the revenue that I, it was when it was full time. What do um, you, I mean, best educated guess here. If you were able to give more time to the artist work, the illustrations, the freelance stuff, um, based on the experience you've had, if you could give it the same amount of time you did in that one six month period, what do you think? Do you think you could do 30,000 gross in a year? I do. I do think that it's, and that's kind of where I'm struggling is just that risk factor of like, I'm not sure. Um, do you have any debt? Last year when I was doing it, I had a bunch of overhead costs because it was a new business and, and doing art festivals and things like that, that I think that I can lower this year because of the knowledge that All I right, gained. That's good news. Now the question is, do you have any debt? I do have debt. How much? I have about 15,000. And what is that in 15,000 and what? It's student loans and medical. Student loans and medical. Okay. Are you on a Dave Ramsey plan right now to try to pay that off? I am, and that's actually how I found you. So, oh, good. And that's one of the reasons why I wanted to call, because I really want to switch to this side hustle um, as full-time, but I just don't know if it's we'll get there. responsible I'm tracking. I'm trying to like go through baby steps, too. It is responsible. It's just when. And I'm getting you there. Okay? Be encouraged. Mm-hmm. I just got to get your financial picture here. So okay. when is your payoff date of the 15K? If things stay as normal in your current full-time job, when do you expect to pay that off? Um, I'm really hoping to have it. Well, right now, with the side hustle and the full-time job, I would like to finish it up maybe in the next 9 to 10 months. Great. Okay, fantastic. All right, so um, are you working overtime right now on this full-time job? I do occasionally when they have it, yes. Okay, and that's helping you pay off debt, which is good. Um, And are are your medical issues uh, to a point where you can work, let's say, 40 to 45 hours, maybe 50 hours one week, and then still put in 10 to 15 uh, on the illustrations? Yeah, the medical stuff is all healed up. Nothing's wrong with that. Um, I think one of my issues that I'm struggling with is the full-time job that I'm at now is very physically demanding. I walk about 10 to 15 miles in the heat every single day. So when I get home, I'm like so exhausted. Okay, so the question now, that's where I was going to go next, is how is is can we replace this job? And we can. We can replace the Mm full-time job with a less physically demanding job. Then that's going to help you. It's going to give you more energy. Um, but I just think that, are you double income, single income? So I, I'm single income. I have a long-term, uh, boyfriend and he helps me out occasionally, but we're, we haven't joined our finances. Well, you shouldn't until you're married. So yeah. is there any plan for him to put a ring on it? 
Yes, definitely. When is that? Um, we're hoping by the end of the year things kind of got, we talk about it all the time. He hasn't officially proposed, but, um, with the COVID thing, we kind of wanted to put it on the side burner. Well, this is important though, because this plays into all this, because all of a sudden Mm -hmm. your finances become our finances. Does he have any debt? Correct. Um, he has about 20,000 in student debt, uh, but he makes 90 K a year. Well, he needs to get rid of that. Yeah, I know. He hasn't quite globbed on to this idea like I have, but we're working on it. Okay, keep working on it, because here's the point. When all of a sudden it becomes our finances, now you go from single income, and what are you making, about 50 gross, I'm guessing? You said you take home 35. Are you making about 50 gross with the full-time job? Yeah, about with the overtime and everything, probably. Yeah, it's just a guess. Okay, so all of a sudden you go to 140 k okay? Mm-hmm. Well, that's a game-changer now. Yeah. So the question becomes, could Haley then, at that point, that's when you possibly move to, if he gets rid of his debt quickly, that's when you moved full-time into the side hustle. Okay. Because your your joint finances put you in a position where you should easily be able to walk away from the full-time job, focus on the dream job, and then you will see that money increase, correct? Correct. I'm just, I'm not... I'm not putting the pressure on the marriage that it's got to be that way because if he if if you guys don't get married, you could still get there. But the reality mm-hmm. is, is you're gonna have to start making some sacrifices in your life uh, somewhere, and right. you're gonna have to build up. I mean, there's just no easy answer. And I'm talking about I've lived this. Okay, I was running my own business, selling sponsorships to live events, and doing a radio show every Saturday. And building that and building that. And then I got money through Friday and I had to juggle my business while still doing two hours of radio live every day. Well, Mm -hmm. I didn't, you know, it just is what it is, but you can get there. So you think definitely get the debt handled before switching over? Yes. Okay. You just need that freedom. Mm -hmm. You you don't want to be stepping into a full-time job that's all you with debt. There's just no right. reason, no reason, in the, or no reason to. So here's the, here's what'll happen: you getting out of debt will fire you up to get out of debt faster, so you can get to the dream job. So um, get rid of the debt. Um, I, you know, if the marriage is if the marriage is a foregone conclusion, well, let's come up with a plan, and then that also changes your life too. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And then you guys come together and you help him pay off his twenty. If if you're marrying into that, that's fine. You guys get victory over that, and then you step into your dream job on the side because you don't have to make full-time money right now. And then you build it back up, and he's a happy man, and everybody's debt-free, and woo-woo, we're throwing a party. All right? (laughs) Yeah. Do you think that it would be feasible to maybe move to a part-time job and work on the side hustle a little bit more than I am now? Or if you can afford it. I'm all the way. If you can afford it, yeah. Okay. If you can, that's my point by sacrificing. If you yeah. can go to a part-time job and then put more time into your side business and 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 be okay with the pay cut for the temporary, I believe in you that you'll eventually make that money back. So yeah, I'm totally fine with that. But you got to be able to survive. Yeah. That's the key. I found that I could pay all my bills and pay my minimum debt with a part-time job, but I just felt irresponsible paying minimum on my debt when I'm like trying to get out of no, it. No, I'm totally fine with the minimums because I believe that you're going to make more money once you can focus on your dream. That's great to hear. I mean, really. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're free to do that. I love it. Awesome. Yeah, that's a great option. Appreciate the call. 